Hi Taurus, welcome to Terribly Accurate. Whether you are new or you're returning to my videos, I'd um, like to have you, if you are interested, take out a second to look in the description box below this video because that's where I'm going to express all of my gratitude to you in a big old love note. And that's also where you find really cool um, links to figure out what your moon sign is, for example, um, to the cords of attachment release videos, lots of helpful things. Um, so that way we don't have to talk about it right now. We can just get right to your reading. So this is love for coupled and singled Tauruses. November 8th through December 8th of 2016. It's election day, November 8th. Let's send some love out um, into the universe for that. Pray for the highest good. <laughs> Whew, scary. But I don't feel like your love life is that scary this month. We're going to start with single Taurus. What do we have? Um, slow moving. Right? If you're dating someone, taking it slow, very slow. You might be like, when is this dude going to hump me? Right? You might be losing your patience, taking it slow, but I think for the most part, a lot of you are happy with the um, speed and the pace of the relationship that, um, that you have or sort of don't have because this is single. Right, but like people that you're dating, you're you're okay with the pace. Um, some of you are challenged to like make deep emotional bonds and connections though at this speed. So if you're displeased, that's why. Maybe nobody's on your radar, and that's the thing about general readings is that um, parts of it are going to resonate for some of you, parts of it are going to resonate for others of you. Maybe none of it will resonate. Maybe I'm not the reader for you. Maybe you need to look at your moon sign. Maybe shit hasn't happened yet and you got to watch it again in a few weeks and it clicks. Um, maybe everything resonates and this is awesome. So, what else for singles? Uh, some of you are recently single, just starting to walk away from an ex. Um, but there's a lot of joy and happiness to be had as a result of that. I could see you falling in love very quickly with somebody else. Um, somebody you might even meet this, this month. And maybe not that deep bonding, like soulmate kind of love, but puppy love at least that could grow into that because we did have the soulmate card as a challenge. What else for Taurus? Um, if you haven't yet left your partner, if you're a couple, just like, if you're a couple, Taurus, and you're kind of watching the singles, like, how much longer is this going to go on till we get the, to the couples part? Um, by the end of the month, you might be in the singles area. It's like your mind is made up, but you haven't quite followed through on taking the decision yet. But you can, and you probably should, because it looks like love's going to be pretty good for Taurus singles this month already. I just feel so much positive energy. Um, some of you are possibly going to be meeting somebody at work, but I feel like more of this is like if you're not going to be meeting people who are good matches for you this month, it's because you're too focused on your work. Um, now, this is interesting. Before I started the reading, before I hit record, I was just shuffling up a little bit as I cleansed my cards, and um, this one flipped out of the deck, but not in a way where I was like, I'm ready. Like, I hadn't finished shuffling yet, you know? So I'm not surprised that this one showed up, but I kind of was expecting it where um, everything that you're wishing for to find in a person, you could find plus more, plus awesome things that you didn't even realize that you wanted, okay? You've got a number message right here, and so I'm just going to pull that up for you. And it says that um, the Ascended Masters, which would be like Moses, Jesus, Buddha, standing around you, protecting you, and helping you to alter your life in happier ways. So if you just became single... Hey, it's because they're there pushing you, guiding you, trying to get you involved with somebody that's better for you. Or maybe you're okay with being work focused this month and that's all right. But blessings, blessings, blessings. For the rest of you where this doesn't happen, it's because you're too focused on the sadness. You've got to, you've got to change your perspective here, okay? Because what can happen if you're busy focusing, looking on what you've lost, somebody else can sneak up behind you and kick those over too. Like the things you still have going for you. When you're down, when, it's like being kicked when you're down, right? Oof. And I mean, it's a five. Fives are always about disharmony, discord. So appreciate the fact that you're single if you weren't the one who chose to leave. 
appreciate that now it means that somebody better can come into your life. Be thankful and excited about, you know, the wonderful things that are coming for you. Um, because this next relationship, this next person that you meet is going to be a very balanced relationship where you're not giving, giving, giving and not receiving or where you're not feeling guilty because they're doing everything to try to save it and you just don't care anymore and you feel abusive that you're taking so much. So this is so much. I'm so sick of talking about the law of attraction. Let me tell you. But there's a reason why it comes up in so many readings because it works because it's true. OK, because we get our happiness from source. So the more that we put thoughts into the universe about what we want, about what makes us happy, about what we desire, feeling that we're happy as though we already had it, the more likely we are to have it, the more happy we're going to be. That's what this is. So whatever it is that you want, possibilities are infinite, okay? Whatever kind of feelings you want to have um, and whatever it means for you to achieve those. You know, make your wishes. Speak as though you already have them. Express gratitude as though you already have them. Thank you, God or Allah, for bringing me the things that make me happy. Thank you for bringing my future life partner into my life. And thank you that this person is the most amazing person I've ever met, that they're caring, that they're loving, that they're handsome. Duh. Right? Okay. What else for single Taurus? Some of you are just not connecting to religion, spirituality, your intuition, law of attraction either, and that's why you might end up single for a while longer. Now, for some of you, you're doing a great job of it, but maybe your partner isn't ready, like your soulmate that you haven't met yet. Maybe they're not ready to meet you yet, and it's not your fault, but keep divining, okay? Anything else for Tauruses? Because I, I feel like this is going to be easy month for you. Like, Blessings, abundance of love, joy, happiness are just going to kind of flow into your life in the area of love. Um, this is just saying, you know what, when you're using your law of attraction, when you're uh, making your affirmations, you know, thinking about the things that you want, that you wish for, don't be so focused on the details. Um, paint the picture in broad strokes because if your order is too specific, like, it could fuck up, right? It's like when you go to the restaurant and you're – Okay, for example, when you go to the coffee shop and you hear people like, I want a double, triple espresso macchiato, um, extra hot with an ice cube, like somebody's going to screw that up, right? Like <laughs> nobody's perfect. The perfect human isn't out there. Um, but if you're just like, I want the most delicious coffee you ever made, barista's got that. I mean, I'm horrible at analogies. I'm sorry, but I think you know what I mean. Um, just trust that God knows what's going to make you happy and is going to bring it to you. Because sometimes we think we know what's going to make us happy and then we get what we want. And we're like, why am I not happy? I have everything. So just trust God to do his thing. All right? Um, you don't have to come up with all these ideas about what it is that makes you happy. Just ask for happiness. Ask for the right person. Ask for your soulmate. Okay. Tauruses who are coupled. What do we have? Whoa. Challenge. Oh, boy. Before I get to that card, that challenge card that fell on the floor, you have a number message, and it says, keep prayer and spirituality at the center of your consciousness and avoid focusing on material things. Hmm. Now, I guess the reason we did that first is that puts this into context, doesn't it? Judgment, having to make a huge life choice. So if you are questioning your relationship and um, maybe money is the reason why you don't get a divorce because you're afraid of splitting assets, um, because you're afraid you don't have enough on your own, not the reason. What you should do is pray. You had a number message there saying that God is assuring you that all of your material needs are met and provided for as you focus on the divine, on God, on serving his will. So, reality check. Um, you can have the life you want. You can be happy, but you have to stay centered and focused on um, source because we get everything from God or Allah, right? Um, and then it just wants to talk a little bit about, like, 
what your purpose is with another number message here saying that you know connecting with your angels working with angels might be your career path that you're intended to have for some of you it isn't but um, that they can guide you towards what it is that you're supposed to be doing so if your relationship is very strong and you are with the right person perhaps you have to talk to them about making a decision for a big shift um, in career or what you're doing um, in the day-to-day -day life with your hobbies things like that and that might be a challenging conversation to have and you're afraid it will kind of harm your relationship or damage it or um, you know take time away from it just because of um, all the effort that it, it's just a big change and in, in like the money aspect I keep getting money 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 and stability like where are you gonna live where are you gonna work kind of thing um, okay for everybody else in couples these things jumped out if you are feeling hopeless but trying to keep the peace that's not fair it's not the way to handle it this is um, you're gonna be sorry that you did it that way okay if you're in a relationship that feels entirely hopeless but you're just keeping your mouth shut and going through with your day-to-day, -day, not the right way to handle it. One, two, three major arcana cards telling you, no, don't do it that way. You have to communicate. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not typically clairsentient. Sometimes I am in readings. But yeah, it's like, um, it's like so hard to get the words out. That's what I'm getting. Like you're choking on your words. Oh my gosh. Celia, literally. <laughs> Whoa. What else for a couple Taurus? Yeah, might not be your happily ever after. Sorry. But for the rest of you who are happier, who are not in that position. Although, you know, in tarot, especially when we're doing general readings, Sometimes they do focus on the negative things because that's where there's the most room for growth and assistant by, assistance from your angels. Because the way that I read is I channel their messages, what they need you to know. And so for the masses that are going to watch this video um, that need assistance, sometimes they will be things that are negative like that. Now, um, for the rest of you that are coupled and you're happy, um, there are some things that you don't want to think about or talk about still though with that whole um, throat chakra blockage type of deal um, where you're kind of choking on your words. It's more than that. You, it's like you're choking on your thoughts. You don't even want to think about things, but there is there are some things in your relationship that you want to talk about or things that are outside forces that are affecting your relationship and um, you're stuffing. You see how her arms are bound and she's got the blindfold on? All she's got to do is move one shoulder just a little bit and everything unravels and that blindfold comes right off um, and you can look at it clearly but it's just you know you need to put in the effort to wiggle that shoulder and part of you doesn't want to um, you just don't want to rock the boat I get it but the boat's gonna be rocked at some point and it's gonna be worse at that point because the things that you're not taking the time to work through and communicate about and think about and have intellectual discussions about are going to turn into resentments if they're not brought up, brought to the surface. Um, whoa, whoa, this one dying to fly out of the deck. My goodness. Um, there's a fear that opportunities can be missed is what that's saying. So take that in whatever context you want. It's going to mean different things for sure for different people. Um, anything else for a couple Tauruses? Yeah, you know what? I'm sorry for those of you Tauruses who watched this video and you're in a happy relationship and you were just hoping to hear, you know, there's so many more blessings coming your way this month. That's very likely to be the case. But this reading is really going to be geared more towards Tauruses who are suffering because those are the ones who need the help. And um, that's exactly too how I decide the order of how the videos are going to be released. Whoever had the most views, there's a correlation between whichever sign is suffering the most and needs the most guidance and that gets the most views. I don't look at likes, I don't look at shares, I don't look at any of that stuff. But I do notice that astrologically, the people who are having the toughest time, the signs, are the ones that get the most views. And so um, right now, coupled Tauruses who are happy, um, maybe you should look at a different reader's video for Taurus this month to hear your good news because we're going to focus on those that are not happy. Um, 
some of you are just feeling so defeated. It is so hopeless. I can never be happy in this relationship again. I don't know what's up with my clear sentience today. I'm usually more clear cognizant, but I am feeling the hurt. Like, I want to cry right now. Some of you are really suffering, and I have, I have zero, zero Taurus in my chart. None. But this is hard. This is the worst for you. Um, and you're not confused about that. You've known it. You know that your heart's not in it anymore, and that breaks your heart further. And it's not like you're tempted by other people. It's not like um, you want to run away because you like the stability of the relationship. It's not that somebody else showed up and seemed like a better option for you. But... Um, but you feel really isolated if you leave. You feel like you have no support. You feel like you don't have any friends that understand. Like, maybe your family really loves your mate. Maybe they will see you as the criminal for breaking up the marriage, for walking away when it didn't seem to make sense because everyone else sees you so happy. You're really suffering. Oh my gosh, I never cry <laughs> in videos. But there are things here that you need to see that you need to bring to the surface and you do need to talk about it. And I do think that you have friends and family that will support you in this, okay, as base, as as evidenced by that um, Five of Pentacles card. Oh gosh, I feel so much better now. <laughs> Whoa, maybe I'm going to get my period. What the hell? Um, but anyway, where was I going with this? Oh, so they're there. You just can't see them. It's the blindfold. It's reaching out to one person and just saying, gosh, I need a friend right now. And, you know, blindfold comes off and, and they're there and they're more supportive and loving for you than, than you, than you thought. And so with that last card there, it's like, you're thinking about the long-term outcome and what is best for you? And can we work through this? And, you know, like if we just stay together, uh, but it's saying right now you need to focus in on what's in front of you. Um, and what does that actually mean? Because I'm getting mixed messages on that for the masses. Um, what's in front of you right now are feelings of hopelessness. And um, not even having a backup plan or, or um, really wanting to date someone else, but needing your freedom, needing to be apart from this relationship. And that's okay. That's the only reason you need. You don't need to explain anything to anyone. It's your life and you are the only person in control of your life and you do not need to defend yourself. This one's coming out and I'm so glad that it did because that's where we were going with this. This is just more affirmation. It just flipped right out of the deck and into my hand saying you don't need to defend it. If it doesn't feel right, if you're not happy, that's reason enough. You don't need to be concerned about how your partner is going to feel. You don't need to be concerned about how your family and friends are going to feel. Even your children. Because your children aren't going to be happy if they're going to see you silently suffering. You're going to be a bitch to your kids. Or a dick. You're going to be an asshole all the time because you're crabby. Because you have nothing left of you. You don't have any emotional fulfillment inside of you. How can you give to others? Okay? You have to do what's right for you. Um... But try not to be a bitch anyway. <laughs> Angels are funny, aren't they? Okay. <laughs> um, doesn't feel like a win. And it, it feels selfish to do what's right for you, but you need to. So I'm sorry that was a tough reading. Um, but sometimes, you know, what we need to know, what we need to do is hard. Okay. Love and light. Sorry I lost my shit for a second. Um... But I love you, and that's why I do these videos, and I want you to make good choices, and I want you to have a happy life. The more people that make the choices that are right for them, the more happy people there are in the world, the more people there are smiling at each other, being there for each other, loving each other, and the better world we live in. So, I mean, I guess I'm selfish. I want you to be happy so I can be happy. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys.